hello guys it's Ali and thank you for joining me today so today guys I'm coming on to do a flip through of this humongous journal that I've finished that we've been working on it was a really really nice project I thoroughly enjoyed doing it I'll start off with the cover so I did make the cover on camera but I did I finished off embellishing it um, off camera it is a, a hardback cover it's made with grey boards and it measures nine and three quarters by six and three quarters it's got three signatures and it's got an elastic binding that I've left exposed I've got this charm well it's actually a bracelet that's got shells and oysters starfish um, yeah on down the spine and I've got a little dangle and I've also got a little bottle that I've tied around with some fibres this it comes off it just clips onto the little clip at the top there so you can take it off and you can wear it as a bracelet if you want to so the cover um, it's this beautiful fabric really lovely fabric um, and then I've just collaged I've got a layer of um, card i've got this beautiful image that's been glittered up i've got lots of different fibers i've got um in an ocean full of fish be a mermaid some little shells uh some rope just just clusters just bits and pieces really i've got some sari fabric i've got this mermaid here this was silver and i've put alcohol ink all over it and then some gold paint over the top and it's just all collage with different bits and pieces uh, i'm happy with how it's turned out i really am happy with how it's finished it measures it's very big i've tied it with this teal ribbon just with eyelets it, it does stay shut but I just thought I would put the extra uh, on to keep it shut. So we'll start with the first signature. I'm just looking whether I might need something to put it on. Okay. So as we start in the first signature, we've got this beautiful sari silk. I've put another big piece of sari sort of trim that I had on the bottom there. And then we've got two journal cards everything can be journaled on the bigger pieces of ephemera have all been stitched around as well quite a lot of stitching and then i used several different kits they, they'll all be listed below to what i used um there is videos for the proce process videos of most of this journal the only one there isn't is when i was finishing the cover and doing the second signature i did the full first signature on camera okay so we've got a kit page here and we've just got where there's water we find mermaids just a little embellishment and then i've just got a little dangle on there she's all been glittered up with stickles we've got just a journaling page there with just some stenciling okay so we've got a little paper bag and i've just put a little tag in that made a little pocket on the top of there and then we've got a kit page i've just stuck this big image on and a little bit of stenciling all my pages have been grunged up around the ends i haven't grunged up the ephemera because whoever depending on whoever buys the journal they might not like it so i've left i've grunged up the pieces that i've made but the kit ephemera i haven't i've just left it so we've just got a triple pocket there with just some little bits and pieces in and a little bit of collage at the bottom then we've got a, one of my gel prints that I did, I've made into a pocket. We've got another little cluster there and then just that sparkly tag in there. I've left the back because I just love that jelly print. I thought it was really nice. We've got a kit page and I've just stuck a walk on the beach and then this big octopus die cut. The back I've left for journaling, just done a little bit of stenciling. This is just a book page about plants under the sea. I've just popped that in. And then we've got some manuscript paper just with a die cut that's been grunged up for you to journal on. And the back I've just put this mermaid die cut. And here is just a diary page from an old diary and I've just put some stenciling on. So you can still journal over the top of there. And then here <laughs> is a little pocket. But what did I do? I stuck it on upside down. That bit should be the other way around. So I've just made it into a little tuck. <laughs> yeah, rather thought rather than trying to pull it off, we'll have to just have an upside down pocket. It doesn't look too bad, does it, with the ephemera in. Here's just a map page. I've just popped that in of the Atlantic Ocean. And then here is a, a 
the doily that I've just folded to make a little pocket and then that's just a tag that I've made. This page is just a kit page and then we've got one of these pieces of ephemera that you can journal on. There's quite a lot of journaling space on there and I've just clipped it onto the side of the page. I've used gold paper clips throughout hoping I'm in shot here and then here we've got another pocket that I've made with the gel print just a die cut and just a really thin little journal journaling spot there it's just on some coffee dyed paper and then we turn over we've got a beautiful kit page I've just left there this was another one of my gel prints I've put another one of these little clustery embellishments and then when we turn over it's a big pocket I've put a die cut on there and then we've got one of these big cards that we made on camera that just goes in there she says that's it and then clip to this page is just a tag this was a freebie from Artie Mays that I came across so I used that and just put it on some blue card that's just pinned to this page which is a kit page. I've left those two pages for journaling because you could quite easily write over there. Here I've got another little embellishment and I've also put on a little dangle on there. Map page, it's one of the kit pages, I've left that. And then there's the other side of the book page, Plants of the Sea. Here is another kit page. I like that kit page, I thought it was really nice, the ledger. And when you turn over, I've made a flip out and then just a little pocket this was an idea i've seen i watched carol laws uh, make one of these with an envelope so i just used paper for mine uh, yeah and i thought it was a really good idea so i used that here i've just got a die cut of mine which is a um what do you call it i can't think what they call specimen is it specimen specimen card i think i can't think what it's called that shape it's a tim holtz die anyway i've put a die cut on there and then just some little bits of it i think it's called specimen card i think and then turn over we've just got a grungy coffee dyed paper and then here i've got a ledger page that i've just left white for journaling on and another one of these journaling spots on there I don't know how many pages there's a lot of pages in this journal it's yeah there is a lot of pages i haven't actually counted them but i know there's a lot here yeah, we've got another kit page i've just left it because it's beautiful put a little embellishment and another little dangle on the bottom of there and then here yeah, we've got journal in space you could journal on there and then this piece of ephemera we made it's just a little just a little booklet with some little pockets in with some ephemera in there okay so we're at the middle of the first signature and i've left it quite loose i haven't done it too tight so you can you know you can take your pages in and out move things around do whatever you want to and then here we've got a little pocket that i've left empty because it was just really stuffed i didn't want to stuff anything else in there to be honest i just thought there was enough in and then on this page here we've just got a flip out of an envelope with just some bits in there and again you can journal on there and then we've got we dream in colours borrowed from the sea and then on the back I've just put a little side pocket there and then just some ephemera in that pocket we've got the back of the ledger page with just some stenciling and a little die cut and then we've just got a seahorse on there here is the envelope that we made it's just a window envelope with a big journal card in that you can journal on and then we've just got two kit pages and uh, sorry a kit page there and then here is just another little pocket with just some bits and pieces in the pocket kit page and then that's the back of the book page another kit page that you can journal on and then here is just one of my dies it's just a big pocket die and i've just popped in some ephemera the tags i haven't put anything through them i've left them so that you can do whatever you want to with them i was going to put some fibers through there and then i thought no i'm going to leave them because whoever gets the journal can do whatever they want to with them i don't know whether you can see the gold mica that i've sprayed on some pages on top of all the inks and then here's another gel plate another pocket with a seahorse and then just another glittery journal card okay 
Okay, and then that's just the back of the envelope. And then we've got kit page. And we've got another little pocket that I've actually stuck on the right way around with just some little bits of ephemera in the kit page. Then we've got the back of the doily that is in also a pocket. And I've just put a little journal card in there. We've got the back of the map page, the back of the diary page for journaling, a little seahorse on there you can journal on here. And this says, she had been tossed by the waves but does not sink. Here is just another little pocket that I've made on this manuscript paper. And again, it's just got little bits and pieces in with a little die cut on the bottom. Book page. And then here is another flip out. And then here is a little pocket with just some ephemera in it just goes in there and then just falls over we've got the back of the gel print pocket with just little tags in and then one of these uh, embellishments and i think oh no it's not i thought we were at the end then that's a kit page with just some stenciling back of the paper bag that i've just popped in some bits and pieces in there let's just push them back in Here's the uh, Tim Holtz slot die that I've got and I just put some little embellishments there and then just some tiny little bits and pieces in that pocket. And that is the end of the first signature. Okay, so let's just grab another box. Just put that to that side, that's better. Okay, so the second signature is a naked journal. I have actually stitched it. I've stitched down the middle so you can take it out and it's just like I said it's just got all different I've got some gel prints in there for the covers it's just different paper I think there's 18 pieces so quite a lot of journaling space there that you can take in and out of they have I have grunged these pages up a little bit um, but I just thought it was nice because the journal is quite heavily embellished I wanted somewhere for you to be able to journal so yeah, that can come in and out and that just goes back in the middle signature. Just put that in there. And then we're on to the second signature, uh, sorry, the third signature. Let me just fix me. <laughs> right, okay. So I wonder if it's better if I move that one now. Yeah, that's better. We only need one now. Okay, so we've got a kit page that's been grunged up. We've got a little embellishment with a little dangle. And it's got a little mermaid's tail on the end of it. And then we turn over. I've just made another one of these specimen. I think it's a specimen die. I'm not sure. I can't remember what they're called. And I've just put that piece of ephemera on. And then just a little journal card in there. Another little pocket with some tags in. And that says, meet me where the sky touches the sea. Journaling space on a kit page. Here's a little pocket with just some small bits of ephemera in some little tags and a little die cut and a little label that's a gel print i've left that for you to do whatever you want to we've got another uh, book page just about um things you find at the at sea you know in the ocean different things what's it called unusual partnerships here we've got a ledger page with just this die cut on the bottom and then as we turn over i've just left it for journaling with some stenciling we've got another pocket here that i've made out of book pages we did this on camera and i've just popped in some bits and then just a little bit of collage at the bottom of the kit page here is another pocket that we made on camera we've just got this little verse about the sea and then we've got, I can get it out, aim to be amazing. she's all sparkles up on there. Come on, get in. And then the back of the vellum there, this is just a page for journaling. As you can see, I've sprayed some gold, extra gold sparkle on that page. Journaling space, and then here... We've got a kit page and this is another piece of ephemera that I made. I haven't put anything in these pockets. I've left it for you to fill yourself and it just flips up. There's just I've, there was just too much stuff in. I had to take I had to take some things out because I couldn't close it and it didn't look nice. So I took some some bits out. OK, kit page. And then here's another one of um, the freebies from Andrea Artie Mays. I printed that off. Be like the ocean, breathtaking to look at, strong enough to not be destroyed, 
and gentle enough so others find comfort in your presence that's nice isn't it and i've just pinned that onto that kit page there journal in space and then here shells of the shore the book page there and then we've just got some manuscript paper with some stenciling and this die cut map page another kit page with another little page embellishment with a little dangle journal in space more journal in space there with just a die cut kit page with another little clustery embellishment that's quite grungy page i like that one space for journaling here is another gel print that i've made into a big pocket we've got mermaid kisses and star starfish kisses in there and then just a little pocket that i made with some bits and pieces in kit page and when we turn over we've got another one of these flip outs you can journal on here you can journal on here and then just a journal card that just tucks in there another little pocket that we made on camera with just some ember uh, ephemera in and then we're at the center of the third signature so we turn over we've got that little pocket there with just a journal card in left that for journaling and then when we turn over we've got this one this is quite thick this so i haven't put anything in it this is just another little flip out that i made like that and then you've just got some little pockets there that you can store things in if you want to and then it just folds up back together like that it's quite dimensional that one okay and then we've got the other side of the gel print with another pocket with another aim to be amazing journal card that's made out of my gel prints that's a jelly print page as well that's jelly printing and then here's just another one of these big pockets that have put some bits and pieces in a little bit of collage at the bottom we're nearly there now guys kit page journaling paper that's this is just children's drawing paper i picked up i think it was in the works it was all pastel colors so that is that just a die cut and then here this one just opens out with more pockets there like i said i've left these empty because it was just too full to put anything else in and that just ties up kit page back of the map page and then another gel print pocket just with a little tag in there and a die cut journal in space back of the book page and then here is a CD wallet that I have just embellished. I hope this isn't stuck. <laughs> Come on, get out. There we go. And just got that journal card in. I've just done some collage on the actual CD wallet. Isn't that beautiful? Just left them two pages. I thought they were gorgeous. I've just got that page embellishment with a little cluster. Journal in space, a ledger page with journal in space here is just a big tag pinned onto some vellum big tag for you to write on i think we're nearly there now back of the vellum and then we've got another little pocket there with just a tag in kit page and then here we've got one of these little pieces of ephemera that you can journal on Come here <laughs> and then we've just got the back of the book page here is just a tall thin pocket and i've just put one of the little pieces of a cluster on there and that just sits in that little pocket there come on get in I'll put it in when i've finished and then we've got a little tuck there with some journal cards in kit page and then we've got another flip out here that you can write on with two tags in that just closes over and that is it guys the last page i've sprayed some more gold on there then i've done another pocket using some sari fabric and we've got this big 
tag in there so that is it that's my ocean under the sea journal finished i've thoroughly enjoyed working on it. i've wanted to do this one for a long time and just never got around to it so i'm happy i um, feel happy now that i've had a go and i've done it i, li I like my cover i'm really pleased with my cover and to go along with it guys there was lots of ephemera left because i bought several different kits so i've put it in and made this little envelope that's going to come along with it with all i won't go to undo it but it's got all ephemera pieces and i've also bought this pen it's a mermaid's tail i thought that would be nice to go along with the journal so you'll get the ephemera and the pen and the journal and like i said that's a bracelet you can take that off and wear it if you want to so i hope you like it guys thank you to everybody that's been watching the process and has been leaving me lovely comments i do hope you've enjoyed the process and i hope you like the finished journal if you're interested guys at all i'll leave my email address in the description just send me an email and I'll get back to you as soon as I've seen it. So for now, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Take care, and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye for now.